to another episode. In this episode of Calculator and Short Code, we'll be looking at the way to get the difference between the calculators when you want to purchase. Now, looking at this question very well, I'll be using these two questions to deduce the difference between these two calculators. This one is a fake one. This one is the original one. But mind you, these two are still fake. But out of fakes, we still have fake. So that's why. Now, you follow me as I detect the one that is wrong out of these two. Now, proceed. The thing is that if you go to the calculator shop or you get to the big shop, want to purchase your calculator, let me show you the difference between the two. Now, the first one here, let's get to the first question here. We want to insert vectors on this first calculator. It will not be constant, like what am I talking about? Now, you press your mode, you press your vector, you press it, which is vector, press one. When you press one, that's vector A. So press one again, that's, you see one ratio three, two ratio two. It means that if the vector you are inserting is two, you press two. That is, if it is just I, J, you press two. But if it is I, J, K, you press one, that's three. Now, can you see this one is I, J, K. So that's three dimensions, so we have to press one. Now, let us insert vector A. That's two equals to three equals to four equals to. Now, press shift five. Then go to data, go to vector B. The vector B is also I, J, K. So that's three dimensions, so we have to press one. And we have to press three equals to, four equals to, five equals to. That's coefficient of I, J, K. That's what we are pressing. Now, press shift five. When press shift five, you go to data. Then go to vector C. That's three. Now, can you see that? It's not showing the one it's showing before, like in the column like this. But it's showing it in row like this. And it makes it to be wrong. That shows that this calculator, you have to change it. It's not good for you. Though, if I want to do it using, in my calculator class, if I want to do this, I can still resolve this. Now, the way to resolve it is that for those of you that you already bought the calculator like this, the solution to it is that before you can insert vector A and vector B, then you have to come and insert vector C first. So if you are inserting vector C first, before vector A and B, it will definitely work out. But if you want to do it like straight up, inserting vector A, vector B, before vector C, it will not work out because it's the what? Because it's what? It's fake. Now let's get to the second one here. The second one, press mode, press your A, that's vector, press vector A, that's one. So let us decide for vector A, 2 equals to, 3 equals to, 4 equals to. Now press shift, 5, go to data, go to vector B. Vector B is also 3, so press the coefficient as 3 equals to, 4 equals to, 5 equals to. Press shift 5, go to data, go to vector C. Then press vector C is also 3 dimension. Can you see that? This one shows, it maintains the words, the way. So which means I can see in sacks, 4 equals to, 5 equals to, 6 equals to, for the what? For the vector C. Can you see the difference between the words, between the two? Now, if you are using this calculator, you have to be very, very observant. You have to get the one that is very good for you. And the way this one we think will be different from the way this one we think. If we are doing so for X on these two, this one will be faster than this one. Now let us reset the calculator. Let us reset and let us go to the second question to test the one. You can see that this one is good, this one is odd. Now let us reset. You press shift 9, press 3, then press equals to twice. Press shift 9, you press 3, you press the equals to twice. Now the second question says, in this series of 2, 5, 9, find the sum of the first 20 terms of this series. Now this one is AP. Now can you see that it's AP, that's arithmetic progression because the common difference is what? Is 3. Now let's press. How to solve common, how to solve for the AP. You press your mode, you press your start. You go to 2. So we are given first term, we are given second term, we are given third term. The press that one direction and go to the first one here. Now, for the first time we are given, we are given the first time to be 2, the second time is 5, the third time is 8. So, the first time, which is 2, press 2 and press equals 2. The second time is what? Is 5. So, press 5 and press equals 2. The third time is 8. So, press 8 and press equals 2. Then press AC. The question asks us to find the sum of the 20 times. So, the formula says, summation this into bracket. you have your x, the y bar, comma, you know, if you are summing the first 20, that means you are starting from number 1. 
So the first time to what? To the 20 time. So that's the formula. And how can you do this on calculator? You press shift this. When you press shift this, then what's your, your X? That's, you press alpha, close bracket to give you X. Then press shift, start here. You can see that start is number one here. Press shift, start here. You go to reg. Your Y bar is number five. Then can you see, you press shift, close bracket here to give you a comma. Then you are starting the summation from number one. So press shift, close bracket again, so number 20. Close bracket, then press equals to twice. When press equals to twice, can you see the answer this one gives us is 210. The answer this one gives us is 210. It's 210. And it's wrong. It's wrong. Now let's get, you know, I thought this is the fake one. So let's just come to this one. So press your mode. Go to start. Go to number two, the same way. We are giving first time. We are, sorry. We are giving second time. We are giving third time. Press downward direction and go to the first one. The first one we are given the value to be two. The second time we are giving it to be five. The third time we are giving it to be eight. So press equals to press AC. Now we are using the same formula. Press shift this. Then press your alpha. Press shift five. Press shift one rather. Because you have number one, you have stats at number one. Then go to your reg. Press five. Then press shift close bracket for your comma. Then you are starting from number one. So press shift close bracket again. We are ending it as the 20 time. So close bracket press equals to two, two times. Now can you see that this one gave us two, 16 and the correct answer is B. If you use your hand to solve this, the summation of the first 20 time of this question, you are going to have it to be 16. And with these two questions, you can be able to differentiate between the fake one and the original one. So let us reset the calculator. If you reset it, that shift 9. Press 3, I press equals to twice. Now, with this method, you can be able to differentiate between the fake calculator and the original calculator. Can you see that this one cannot be used? You should not try to buy or purchase this kind of calculator. But they are the same thing. This one is cash 91 years plus. This one is also cash 91 years plus. They have the same thing. The carcass are the same. But if you don't press it like this, if you don't undergo some calculation on it like this, you'll have bought it before you know that one cannot do some calculations. So that is why you have to test it like this. So I still have many ways to test the calculator. So you are going to be seeing this in some episode. So, but before that, you can use this to detect the, the, the one you want to buy from the one you don't need to buy. Thank you very much. God bless you. I am Inshallah David. Blessing by name, popularly known as Jenna David. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share for other people to see. Thank you very much. God bless you.